Hello students today we are discussing about the topic electrostatics let us introduce what is electrostatics electro refers to charges and statics refers to at rest it means charges at rest so electrostatics is the branch of physics that deals with the study of charges at rest now we all know fundamentally there are two types of charges one positive and one negative for these two types of charges we have got a fundamental law of electrostatics we all are familiar to this what is that that like charges repel each other and the unlike charges attract each other this is the fundamental law of electrostatics that like charges yes repel each other and the unlike charges attract each other now the charges can be developed in various methods first of all we are discussing about the frictional electricity that is the charging of a body by rubbing two bodies together or by producing a friction between them this is that electricity or charges developed by rubbing or friction rubbing or friction the cause of charging here is actually the transfer of electrons from one body to the other why the charges get transferred basically when we rub the two bodies together the electrons gain the energy and they shift from a body 1 to body 2 for this they require an energy the energy which is required to remove an electron from a metal surface that is termed as the work function so energy required to remove an electron from the surface of a material is called its work function so as soon as the charge or the electron acquires this energy it shifts itself from body a to body b body 1 to body 2 it is depending upon the work function of the bodies if body a has got lesser work function so charge will move from a to b and if the body b has got the lesser work function it will go from b to a now we further discuss about the very basic properties of electric charges they are three in number additivity quantization and conservation additivity quantization and conservation now what is additivity it refers to the property of the charges that the total charge of a system is the algebraic sum of all the individual charges located at different points inside the system say for instance a body has got three charges say a b and c which are plus 2 plus 5 and minus 4 so total charge will be the sum of these that comes out to be plus 3 units of charge simple algebraic addition the second property is very important that refers to the quantization of charges quantization means that charge on any body is always an integral multiple of a basic quantum of charge charge of the body is if referred as q capital q and the basic quantum is small e then this q equals to plus minus n into e where n is a integer any 1 2 3 any integer now what actually is the basic quantum of charge the basic quantum of charge is the basic charge or the unit charge that refers to the charge on an electron so the quantum of charge is the charge on electron the value of this e we must have gone through is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb remember that quantization is a universal law of nature quantization is a universal law of nature remember this now the third property is conservation it actually is referred into two steps 
first tells that total charge of an isolated system remains constant total charge any system comprising of any number of bodies if they interact but the total charge of that system remains always constant and the second is the electric charges can neither be created nor destroyed means neither we can create any new charge or we can destroy any charge but we can only and only transfer the charge from one body to another jaise we just knew, uh, came to know through the rubbing we can transfer the charge from one body to another further we will discuss in the next video about the process of induction but basically here the conservation refers to any method but the total charge on the two bodies will always remain constant thank you